Hey guys, Scott here from scottphillipstrading.com. So today I want to show you an advanced application of the four hour mechanical system rules. It's something I haven't covered publicly before, so you might want to pay attention. Now, if you don't know the full system rules or how to trade the four hour mechanical system, I put together a free webinar on it some time ago and in the description you can see the link for that. You can go check it out. It's, uh, it's a great system. It's really performing well. So. I want to point your attention to this bottom left chart, which is the US dollar index September futures chart. Now you can see what we have here is we have a consolidation pattern, a breakout, and then it ran away up like this. Now we have a clue that mean reversion is about to start by the fact that we're getting uh, we're getting two-sided price action here, so people are taking profits. It's going up, but the length of this candle, the range of this candle is smaller than the previous up bar, indicating that it's running out of steam somewhat, and we have some selling pressure at the top of the bar. Now, the last candle here is a much smaller range shooting star. So what this is, is that it's like the little engine that could, and then it's just running out of puff up here, and it's tried to go up and failed. So what this is, is if you read price action, if you've got the price action masterclass, um, this is a sign that mean reversion is probably about to try and take over. So mean reversion is mean reversion starts off as profit taking. And then sometimes it can morph into something beyond profit taking, which is which is where we're at today. So I want to I want to show you. So so this point here is this point here. Okay. Okay, so it starts off really just looking like just looking like regular profit taking. There's no reason no reason to think that the trend is over then. This is a, a failed attempt to drive the market down. But this bar here, so this is the killer, this is the clue. So after this bar fails to drive the market down, we should be getting buyers jump in because the shorts should be weak but instead of buyers jumping in we got more sellers so to us this is probably a sign that we're going to get more mean reversion so uh, so that was about here in this 240 minute chart and about here so since then we have this very strong clue that this mean reversion is going to go back to somewhere in here and probably retest the top of here so at that point in the four hour system we typically trade in the direction of the dominant trend so you, you can see here I've, I've, I've got some got some trades that I've actually taken I'll just remove that so the idea is that we're trading very specific patterns after pullbacks and uh, and we've done very well but sometimes we get either a couple of days of mean reversion like we have here or the trend could completely reverse so what we don't want to be doing is sitting on the sidelines too much while this all happens so what i'm going to do today is i'm going to show you how to trade counter trend moves using the exact same rule set but counter trend so the key here is the point of recognition so the point of recognition that we're going to get more mean reversion is about here so this is well it's ex it's not about here it's exactly here so this is the 8th of the 17th now if we go up to here that is right here now you can see we have a number of high probability cell setups we have a, a shooting star cell after a deep pullback here we have another one here um, we have a retest after a pullback here now on the 240 minute chart we have a breakdown retest setup with a sell here and a stop here we have we have a shooting star sell setup here now the idea is once you reach the point of recognition that things are going to change trend then we start searching for counter trend entries now mean reversion can get out of hand so mean reversion is very orderly selling it's just profit taking so so the idea is there's a lot of profit here people start taking profit and then at this point 
the pe people realise that the profit takings got out of hand and all these guys dumped their positions and shorts pile in. So this beyond this point here today, anything could happen. We don't really want to be playing. But in the short term, we have a number of very high probability entries. So when this happens on the dollar index, we could look at the GBP USD, which is the op uh, which is the opposite way, and you can see at this point, at once we break the high, we have a whole we have evidence that this is not just a little mean reversion that we're actually going to go up a bit further. So you can see the setups here. If we zoom in a little bit, we have a significant low, higher close, lower close, long here, stop here. We have a fake out long, we have a hammer long, long here, stop here. We have a breakout retest, a breakdown retest, so you get long here, stop here. If we look, um, We have a hammer candle in, in a temporary uptrend here. We have breakout and retest long here, stop here. If we look at AUD USD. So again, we've got this one, two, three, four days of mean reversion. It looks to be something a bit more serious than mean reversion now. So this is not a market I would want to trade today, but yesterday and the day before, this would paint a, a number of very high probability um, uh, mean reversion. Um, uh, entries that are with trend on the 60 and the 240 but mean reverting entries on the daily so here we look for any pullback we look for one or more higher closes one or more lower closes long here stop here we look for any pullback one or more higher closes one or more lower closes place our order here which is not filled we place our order here long stop here and we get a little win so same thing, NZD, USD, no, sorry, I typed that in wrong. The same basic deal, right? We have a pullback, we have one or more higher closes, we have a lower close, we place the order here, it's not filled, we place the order here, it is filled. So we're long from here, stop from here. Shooting star in an uptrend, we have it here. So how do you manage these trades? How do you take these trades? By definition, counter trend trades uh, don't have that many 5R wins in them. So in my opinion, it's better to treat these as scalps and take a 1.5R profit target or a 2R profit target and keep these at extremely high win rates. So a 1.5R profit target will give you about a 65% win rate. That's a very strong positive expectancy trade. It's, it's an excellent trade and this is something that I do. Now, uh, the rules of these setups, if you, if you watch the, uh, if you watch the webinar, I'll put it in the link and if you watch the webinar and then email me I'll, uh, uh, at scott at scottphillipstrading.com, I'll email you a PDF document with the full rules. So if you want to go deeper with this, if you if you decide you want to actually trade this system, what you really ought to do is buy the System Building Masterclass, which is a much, much deeper discussion of this system, all its nooks and crannies and tricks and turns and, and all the subtle things that you don't need at all if you're just having a look at an interesting system, but if you actually decide to trade this system, you would definitely want to buy the System Building Masterclass because it just goes into it in hours and hours of detail. Okay, guys, thanks very much.